Previously on The Bachelor. Owen Elliott is the biological father of both Jaquise and Daquan Moore. We've only known one man to be our father our entire lives, and that's Jason. The fact of the matter is, Jason's not our father. Why are you single? I just go with the flow and let everything fall into place. I like to think you're becoming like a friend of me. Uh, of course. So you'll be there? Richmond Park at four this afternoon? Well, I have a new friend. She invited me to a gathering. And would she be okay with me coming? I uh don't think that's a good idea. And why not? She's Jacquees's new friend. I know you've been cheating on my father. I have pictures in my phone of you two together. Because that's my daddy, moron. So if this is your father, that makes you my... Nah, hell nah. We were supposed to be running those hotels together. He ran off with my woman and my business plan. Lisa is his daughter. What? And I was going to tell you about Lisa, but when the time was right, Lisa is his daughter and he sent her here to get back at dad. I would never use my daughter to get back at someone. I really hope you're not lying to me, Owen. Good morning, babe. Hmm. Indeed it is. How you sleep? So good. You did my body so good last night. Oh, so I guess it's safe to say you call me a stress reliever. <laughs> mm -hmm. That you are. Mm, girl, you made me want to take the whole day off. Ooh, you should. A day of nothing but hot, steamy, sweaty sex. Mm. So tempting, but I should. I understand. You got a business to manage. That I do. Mm, I won't stop you. Man, fuck it. I could be a little late. Come here. What the hell is going on here? You ain't ready? <laughs> oh, my fault. I got caught up in Facebook. Give me five minutes to get dressed and I'll be out of your hair. Hey, you ain't got to rush. Hey, you can shower and everything. Hey, just lock up on your way out. I'll leave the spare key up under the mat. Oh, okay then. Have a good day, love. Mm. <laughs> you too. scheduled at seven you're never late call me back and let me know that you're okay message deleted dq Are you still asleep? No. Your father called me worried about you. Which one? T. 
Jason. Oh, the fake one. Babe, stop this. I know this is a lot to take in, but you can't just hide out in here forever. Why not? Because you have a family that loves you and would hate to see you this way. You have a resort to manage. My family ain't worried about me. Everybody's accepting on like he's been around for years. It's like I'm the only one hurting from this. I don't think you're the only one hurt, babe. I just think everyone expresses their hurt in different ways. Jacquees just chose to make sweet and sour of a situation. Yeah, well, I'm not Jacquees. I can't just pretend like this doesn't bother me. And I completely understand that. Have you thought about talking to Jason about it? No, I can't even stand to look at him right now. He's married to my fucking sister. I know, baby. I know this is a lot, but I'm here for you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. And I support you. If you want to talk to Jason, I'm with you. If you don't want to get to know Owen, I support that decision also. What if I gave up my percentage of the company? You mean quit? I just can't handle this anymore. It was hard enough dealing with my father trusting Lisa with most of the responsibility, but knowing all this stuff just makes it that much worse. All I ever known was my father's company. Since I was a kid, all he ever talked about is how one day me and Queese would take it over. I lived and breathed that company, but I realized it wasn't for me. It was for my father. It's what he expected of me, and I just wanted to make him proud. But it's not what I want for myself. What do you want, babe? I don't know. I've never done anything else. I don't know what I even be good at. Well, we have plenty of time to figure that out. Like I said before, I have your back, DQ. Whatever you decide to do, I'm with you. Always. I'm so sorry. What the hell, Tati? Bitch, don't you know how to knock? Who that? Hold on, bae. What the hell you want? Where is Nikwa? I don't know. Call her. I did, but her phone must be dead. Well, I ain't seen her since yesterday, right before she went to that get-together. Alright, carry on. I'm back. You good? Yeah, my roommate just busted my room. Girl roommate, right? Of course, daddy. <laughs> now where were we? Yes. I'm not playing games, Britt. I really do miss you. I don't know what to say. You miss me? Sometimes I do, but then I realize we want two different things and it goes away. What do you mean? We want two different things. I'm really not in the mood to get into this conversation again. To me, it sounds like your other girl is not giving you the time of day. So you're trying to slide back into my life. There was no other girl. I don't know where you got that from. I just needed time to get my mind right. That's all that was. Mm-hmm. I'm for real. Come over. Now why would I do that? Because I miss the way you taste in the morning. <clears throat> Chaz, stop it. Why? Am I turning you on? Chaz, please? Just come over. Chaz, um, 
I'm seeing someone. So, I'd appreciate it if you stop asking me to come over. Seeing someone? Who? Someone Camilla introduced me to. I'm no longer going to be your personal doormat. Have a good day, Chuds. Brit? Shit, my bacon. Hello? Yo, who is this nigga you done set Brit up with? Um, a friend of a friend? What you do that for? First of all, Chaz, she came to me hurt and confused for the umpteenth time about how you felt for her. She told me you broke it off with her for no real reason. I wasn't about to let my best friend sit up in her house and sulk all day because you don't know what you want. So you throw some random motherfucker in her face? You wildin', yo. I'm wildin'. I was looking out for my homegirl. Were you looking out for your homegirl when you kissed me those two times? Oh wow, you really going there? The fucking nerve of you. Look, all I'm saying is you need to mind your fucking business. What me and Brick got going on ain't your business. I'm about to hang up the phone before I say some shit I'm gonna regret. But before I do, let me tell you this. I'm not the only one to blame for what happened between us. We kissed each other. It was a mutual thing. And I've been trying my damnest to make up for what I allowed to happen between us. But for you to come at me the way you just did is out of order. The next time you call my phone talking to me like you ain't got no sense, I won't be so calm. Bye, Chaz. Shit. What do you mean you're resigning? I can't do this anymore. What's going on with you? You've been tardy, you're absent altogether. I just don't understand where this is coming from. Who is Owen? What? Is that my father? Where did you get this? Answer the question. Is Owen my father? Did you lie to me all my life? You have to understand. Your mother and I did what was best for you and Jacques. And lying to us, robbing us of the chance to get to know our real father was the best for us? Yes, we truly believe that. We've missed out on 26 years of knowing our father and sister because of your belief. What? That's right. Owen has a daughter and you're married to her. What? What?
don't have to leave. I know, but I got shit to do. Well, when are you coming back? I don't know. I'll hit you up next time I want some. Next time you want some? I'm not just some piece of ass, Jacquay. Deja, I met you at a bar and we fucked the first night. I ain't took you out and brought you shit. What else do you think you are to me? You such a fuck boy. You fuck me on the regular, we may as well take it further. Yeah, we fuck. And when we do, it's good. But that's all it is. I don't want you looking for more than I can give you. Get out. What? You heard me, maldita stupido. Get out of my car. You fuck me and then you want to leave me? Okay, you know what? Leave me. Get on safe, alright? Fuck you, maldita perra. <laughs> You ready for Vegas in five days? I'm more than ready. Remember, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> I have a question. What's up? How would you feel if Tati came? I mean, I wouldn't feel no type of way. We going there to have a good time. Yeah, but do you think Jacquees would be uncomfortable? Nah, Keith's moved on. From what I hear being over here so much, she did too. But if you did bring her, I'd give my dude a heads up. Of course. Shit, bring Brenda too. That's my cousin. You know I'ma bring her if I bring Tati. Let me ask her now. Who is that? My best friend, asking me about that trip. The one you have yet to invite me on? <laughs> yes, that one. Would you like to come to Vegas with me, Xavier? Who, me? I'm so flattered. Oh boy, be quiet. Would you? I'm glad you asked. I heard about my ticket. <laughs> oh, really? What if I never asked you to come? I would've came anyway. Me and my homeboy. Who? Terrence? Yup. Hey, we both already got our tickets. A mess. <laughs> you like this mess, though.
Hello? Hey Xavier, what you up to? Not much, I woke up. Oh, okay. Well, I was wondering if you had plans this weekend. I don't think so. Wow, what's up? Well, I'm going on a weekend getaway with some of my close friends. I was wondering if you'd like to go. Aw, oh, damn. As a matter of fact, I just remember I'm going on vacation myself. Oh, are you going with Terrence? Yeah, how'd you know? Britt told me. She invited him on our getaway, but he was going on a trip too. Oh yeah, we're going together. Well, I just figured I'd ask. I hope you enjoy your trip. You too, love. Hey, be safe. Bye. Who's that? Jim, my homeboy. Go on back to sleep, baby. Hey, you. Guess where I am. Work? No. Where are you? California. No side party. Keep it rocking. LA. What? You're lying. I took some PTO. I go back next week. Came from Miss Olga? Of course. And you. I'm excited, but I go away in five days. Where? Vegas. A short getaway with some close friends. Is there room for one more? You trying to come? Hell yeah. I've been to Vegas a couple times. I could use some of that fun right now. I'd love for you to come, but I don't know how you're going to get a cheap ticket so late. Don't worry about all that. i get one. Well, hell, come help me pack and we'll find you a flight together. On my way. I'm so ready for Vegas. You just don't know. I'm ready too. I've never been. What? Stop capping. I'm not lying. I've never been there. Damn, you about to have a ball. I'm looking forward to it. So I've been thinking. About what? Your proposition. And? I've decided to accept under one condition. What's that? You let me work here full time instead of part time. You fucking with me? You for real? Yes, I'm for real. Damn, man. I swear you dope, yo. <laughs> no, you are. You're giving me a great opportunity. I just appreciate it. I could just kiss you right now. <laughs> I could let you. You serious? Oh my God, no, Jackies. It was just a figure of speech. Yeah, all right, girl. Don't play with me. I'll tongue your ass down. <laughs> Shut up. So who's going to look after the shot while we're gone? I've been thinking about asking Owen. Really? Yeah, he has mad experience. Well, I think that's a good idea. I'm glad y'all have really been getting to know one another. Yeah, man. Spending so much time with him opened my eyes and helped me realize where I get a lot of my traits and talents and shit from. We got a lot in common. That's good. I'm happy for you. So when did you plan on asking him? I mean, we only have five more days before we leave. Are you rushing me? Hell yeah, I'm rushing you. You gotta make sure business is in order here before you carry your ass to Vegas. Yeah, you right. A little feisty ass. I'm gonna call him now. Yo, Pops, I need a favor. 